Good evening. My husband Henry's facial expression freezes. What? Oh, what a coincidence. Who is this person? Oh, uh, um. And I began to sit next to where my husband was sitting. I could feel how awkward my husband was, just by being in the same place as him. My name is Sarah, and I am 29 years old, and I work at a company. I have been married to my husband Henry for two years now. Henry and I both work, so we are both busy, even as a married couple. Even so, I thought that we were having a happy married life by sharing house chores together, and occasionally going out to dinner or going on drive dates. But something happened that instantly changed all my thoughts about how we were having a happy married life. That day, I was supposed to go to a very fancy restaurant with a few of my university classmates, whom I was still friends and keeping in touch with. It was a restaurant which I had wanted to go to for a long time, so I was pretty excited from the morning. And so, I focused a lot more on my work than usual, since I was determined to finish my work as quickly as possible to get to the restaurant on time. Then, during my lunch break. I received a text message from one of my friends, Laura, who was also attending today's dinner. Hey, isn't this your husband, Henry? When I looked at the photo that Laura sent me, to my surprise, it was of a woman whom I've never seen before, and my husband walking down some street holding hands together. What? No way! Without thinking, I mumbled these words. Laura knew both my husband and I, and the reason why she knew my husband was because her company was my husband's client, and they would often have meetings together. Laura said that she had a meeting during the day at the company where my husband worked today, and visited him for that. But she was apparently told by the company that he had a day off. I thought that this was weird, because from what I understood. My husband had gone to work in the morning, and he was not on his day off. In other words, as of this morning, he had completely lied to me. Come to think of it, my husband was saying this to me in the morning. I'm going out to eat with a friend today too. So that friend must be the woman in the photo Laura took. I couldn't believe that my husband was cheating with another woman behind my back. After finding out about this, all my excitement that I had from the morning was gone all at once. That I couldn't even be motivated enough to go to the fancy restaurant anymore. Then, after finishing work, I headed over to the restaurant in a depressed, unmotivated mood. As soon as I entered the restaurant, I was really surprised. I couldn't believe my eyes, but my husband was there. Plus, he was there with the woman from the photo. Seeing the two of them eating together and having fun talking with each other, something inside me snapped. I don't care about this guy anymore. But I didn't want to ruin the dinner with the girls, so I decided to stress out my husband while trying not to cause a huge scene. Oh, good evening. My husband, Henry's facial expression freezes. What? Oh, what a coincidence. Who is this person? Oh, uh, um, I know him through work, you know. Is she your girlfriend? Oh, uh, y yes. What are you saying? You're mumbling the words too much. If you're going to introduce me to her, you should do it properly. Oh, so she is your girlfriend, huh? I see how it is. Well then, please enjoy the dinner. Then saying that, I sat down right next to my husband. I could feel how awkward my husband was just by being in the same place as him. Later on, Laura, who had sent me the photo, arrived and was surprised to see Henry at the restaurant. But I held my index finger in front of my mouth and asked her to remain quiet about the situation. My husband was clearly panicking as he kept on dropping his fork several times. And the woman with him was saying this to my husband. You're really acting strange today, you know. Well, 
It must be quite a hell to have your own wife sit next to you while being caught about the fact that you were cheating on another woman. So, on purpose, I talked with my friends about my recent love life and family life while enjoying my husband's facial reactions next to me. Then, we finished the dinner early, so I went home first and waited for my husband to return. My husband returned home about 30 minutes after I arrived home. Apparently, he and that woman parted ways right after dinner and he came straight home. As soon as Henry saw my face, he said, I'm so sorry. He began to apologize about his affair with that woman, Meg. I was seduced by her. I'm so sorry. She kept on seducing me for a while, so I. Today, too, she kept on asking me out for dinner after my work. Even though Henry began to apologize about it, I wasn't going to forgive him at all. No, no, no way. That's wrong. You lied to me about going to work today. And you were out with Meg during the day, weren't you? What? I already have proof, you know. Saying that, I showed Henry the photo my friend had taken. So, you can't make any more stupid excuses, and you won't get away with this. Th that's. um. you know. I've had enough. Let's divorce. We'll discuss about the alimony later on. <laughs> hey! I then contacted Laura, who was at the dinner today, and for now, I just packed what I needed and left home and decided to stay at her house. As I was having a drink with Laura again and we were laughing and saying, I never thought we'd run into each other at that restaurant, I felt the phone vibrate. As I looked at my phone, I saw that there were notifications of many incoming calls. At first, I thought it was my husband, which is why I tried to ignore it. But the call was actually not from him, but from my high school friend named Anastasia. Anastasia and Henry and I were all from the same university, and although Anastasia and Henry were from different departments, they were both in the same club activity, and that's how they knew each other. I instantly called back Anastasia. Hello? What's wrong? Did something happen? Huh? What the heck are you saying? Oh, uh, well, I saw that you called me a lot, so I. You! Just because Henry was having a dinner with another woman, what right do you have to get that mad at him? What? I heard everything from Henry, you know. You were too jealous that you thought that Henry was having an affair when he didn't. And you had a huge fight where you threw a lot of stuff around the house and left. Huh? What the? Besides, it seems like you've been having that kind of attitude like that in the past too, huh? I have never in my life ever done anything like that. Hold on a minute. You misunderstood about everything. Let's meet up. I'll tell you the real truth about everything. With that, I hung up the phone. I had no idea that my husband would try to make me look that bad by telling such terrible lies to our mutual friend. My anger at my husband heated up even more, and I vowed that I would never, ever forgive him. The next day, I met Anastasia at a cafe and told her exactly what had happened. But somehow, she had a hard time believing me when I told her that Henry had actually cheated on me. So, I decided to show her the photo which Laura took of my husband holding hands with his mistress, Meg. What? You must be joking! Once Anastasia saw the photo, she finally believed me that what I was telling her was all true. The story that Anastasia had been told by Henry was that he had just had dinner with a woman to discuss about work-related issues, and that I was being out of control and I had stormed out of the house. And he had also explained that I was the one who would always get angry and has anger management issues. I can't believe that he would lie to me just to defend himself. Saying that, Anastasia called Henry and put the phone on the table with the speaker on so I could hear it too. Then, a woman picked up the call. What can I help you with? Henry's currently taking shower at the moment. Who the hell are you? Uh, who the hell are you? 
I'm Henry's friend. Ha! I'm Henry's girlfriend. Oh, is that so? I see how it is then. With that, Anastasia hung up the phone. Sarah, let's go. What? Let's go to the hotel where Henry said that he would be staying at. Apparently, my husband decided to stay at a hotel just to make his lie more real to Anastasia, as he had told her that the house was a mess because of me. Well, it's more like he probably went to the hotel because he wants to make sure that we won't run into each other if in case I came back home suddenly. We then reached to the front door of the hotel room where my husband was. Then, Anastasia banged the door and shouted, Come on out, you cheating asshole! As you can imagine, it looked like what we were doing was what a mob would do, banging on doors like that. I told Anastasia, If we make a scene, we'll get kicked out of the hotel. Then, Anastasia whispered to me, He can't get away with what he did, you know? But, there was no response from Henry, who was in the other side of the door. Anastasia was about to start yelling again, so I stopped her by saying, let's just calmly wait until they come. Then, after about 20 minutes, the people who I had called for came. Hey, Henry, what the heck are you doing? Open the door. What? Is that f father Yes, indeed. I called Henry's parents over. You! What are you doing? W wait a minute. I'll open the door now. Henry then opens the door as he said that. Then, as if the police were rushing into the scene, Henry's parents and Anastasia rushed into Henry's room. I was the last one to go into the room after everyone else had gone to the back of the room. What the hell is the meaning of this? Uh, no, Anastasia. Um, sorry, well... This is... Henry, you're a horrible son for having an affair with another woman. I don't remember raising you like that at all. Father, mother, I'm sorry. When I arrived, my husband was already being blamed like that by his parents, and Henry looked really devastated. And in one corner of the bed, Meg was sitting really awkwardly. Then, all of a sudden... Anastasia began to say something which was completely unbelievable. Oh, Henry, you told me that I was your only woman. But who the hell is this woman? Huh? What does she mean by that? Henry's parents also gave a look which said, huh? And looks at Anastasia. So I said, I'm sorry. I was being seduced, you know. Henry, what is the meaning of this? Do you mean to tell me that you're not just having an affair with a woman, but you're having an affair with another woman as well? Uh, no, um, well, y y yeah, you stupid idiot! My father-in-law, Richard's fist, hits Henry on his face. Father, mother, I'm really sorry. But about Anastasia, I haven't told Sarah... You haven't told me what? What? S sarah why are you here? When Anastasia called you over the phone, I was also there. I mean, what the hell? Does this mean that you also betrayed me, Anastasia, when I thought you were on my side this whole time? Uh, no. That's not what this means. It seems that Anastasia was unable to control her emotions and ended up taking her anger out on Henry, revealing the truth about their affair that they had behind my back. Oh, I see how it is. So, I was just being pushed around by you assholes. I'm really sorry about my stupid, stupid son, Sarah. I will make sure to have our son pay for everything that he did to you. I'm truly sorry. It's not your faults, Beth and Richard, so please don't apologize. But instead... Richard, can you please do that thing where you made sure Henry know what your fist was like? Yes, of course! Ugh! Thank you, I feel way better now. Well, I'll be requesting for alimonies from all three of you, you sick assholes. 
And of course, it will be done all through my lawyer. S Sarah! Sarah, I'm so sorry. Don't ever call my name again. Disgusting. With saying that, I left Henry's hotel room. I then successfully got a divorce from my husband and he had paid me the alimony. Anastasia and Meg also paid me the alimonies which I had requested them. Since my ex-husband worked in the cosmetics industry, he had colleagues who were mostly females at his workplace. So, I thought it was a great idea to report this incident to my ex-husband's boss. Upon hearing what had happened, his boss got really furious and my ex-husband's affairs had spread through the company in no time. With no one on his side, my ex-husband could no longer stay at work and so he ended up quitting his job. He is now forced to live a poor life in a run-down apartment while working a low-paying job as a temp. Henry got what he deserves. Anyways, as for Anastasia, I shared about what had happened to her high school and university classmates. I told them that Anastasia had a hobby of sleeping around with husbands and warned them to be careful if they're with Anastasia. As a result, Anastasia lost all the trust from her high school and university classmates and everyone had stopped contacting her and she was no longer invited to any events like weddings or dinner parties and so on. Then, Anastasia contacted me saying, I'm really sorry, so please forgive me, and I want you all to clear up the misunderstanding to my friends. Reading her message, I thought that she was apologizing, but until the very end, she was only thinking of herself. So I replied, No one misunderstood, you know, and I was only telling the truth to them, and blocked her. Thus, Anastasia was completely gone from my life, and I am now able to live a very peaceful life. I then bought a new apartment with the alimonies I received from Henry, Anastasia, and Meg. Currently, I am living in a new, beautiful, and very spacious room, and I am leading a very elegant and comfortable life. I think I've had enough with my marriage life, so I'll just enjoy the life being on my own for a while. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in our next video.